Hello YouTube, welcome to my second Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to move around in Blender and move objects and add objects. So, here I've opened the basic Blender window, and it comes with this perspective. This is a cube, it's our default object. And if you want to move around, you can use the middle mouse button on your mouse to move around. It's a bit laggy because I'm recording at the same time. If you have a laptop, then I'll explain how to change that later, probably at the end of the video, but I'll probably forget, so I'll end up taking this video off and putting it back on, but that doesn't matter. Now, you can move with the middle mouse button. This, um, well, to, to zoom in, you can scroll with your middle mouse button, and I'll teach you how to do that on laptops. And this kind of like target thing that's a circle that's red and white is called your 3D cursor and you can click with your left mouse button to move it. It really doesn't do much but I can teach you how to use it later on. Here we have our default cube and it's just a cube. Now here are some shortcuts you can use to move. You can use G to move it around. Control Z is undo by the way. You can use S to scale, and you can use R to rotate. You can also use G and then either X, Y, or Z for the axis you want. So if you press G and X, it'll only move along the X axis. If, if we do G, Y, only on the Y axis, and so on. The same can be done with scaling and rotating. We can do scale x and it'll only increase on x scale y only increases on y and stuff like that rz rotates on the z axis ry rotates on the y axis and stuff like that <coughs> sorry if i'm coughing a lot i'm a bit sick now we have this object and there are a few other objects that we can add first off let's delete this by hitting delete on your keyboard or x then select ok now, when you add an object, it'll go to where your 3D cursor is. So, we can either click in the middle if you want it to be there, but since you're in a 3D window and it's a bit hard to position your cursor, I su suggest you do Object, Snap, Cursor to Center, which will snap your cursor to the center of the 3D grid here. Now, to add objects, we can press Shift and A. Now, this gives you a whole list of things. I'm using Blender 2.61, so Speaker is only in 2.61, and you have several objects. You have a plane, which is a plane, and location, not location, rotation, scaling, and grabbing can all be, play, be applied to all of these, so let's move this out here. We'll add a cube, you already know what that is, a circle, which really isn't that useful. You have... The UV sphere, which is basically just a sphere. We have an icosphere, which I don't use that much, but you might want to use it for some random reason. We have a cylinder, which can be a bit useful when making cylindrical objects. And finally, the comb. And there are a few other ones too. We have the grid, which I don't really use, so I'll delete that. We have the monkey, which is good for things. See, it's a monkey. And we have the tortoise, which is one of my personal favorites. Right, and that's most of the objects. And these other options here, curve, surface, metaball, and text, are things that I'll explain later. And I think that's it for now. Oh, I'm also going to teach you how to save a file. With any other program, if you wanted a new one, you would hit Control N, which is what I'll do now. And when you make a new file, Blender is one of the few programs that, that if you're about to close it, it won't make sure that you want to close it. Like in Microsoft Word or something, if you press the X, it'll say, are you sure? Blender doesn't do that. And so you have to be absolutely sure that you've saved your work. So we have this cube right here, we'll delete it, then add a toy.
chorus, and we'll make it bigger. And no, I should explain these two. These are lamps, which add light to the scene, which I'll cover in a second. And this is the camera, which is your de default perspective for a scene. And if you're using a laptop like me, you would have to go to camera, since you don't have a number pad, and you can view it from the camera. The camera can also be moved, like other objects, with G, R, and scale. Scaling doesn't do anything, though. And, well, I've already started maps. So now, we'll save this with either save or control S. And I'll save it in my YouTube folder under tests. I'll save it as test save. We'll open a new one. And remember, it doesn't prompt you if you don't want to save it. Now, we'll go back to open, test, open, and we have the file. That's all I'm going to cover in this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch my next videos. And thanks for watching. Insane in the rain here. And I bid you farewell.